What is up, my Meisters? Welcome back to some more Let's Play Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo. I am host, of course, Mr. Espinoza X. And in today's episode, it is time to go in to Sigma's Fortress. Yes. Let's split up. I'll go in first and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. Sounds like a plan, Zero. Sounds like a plan. But yeah, sorry I haven't been uploading any videos as of late. I've just been pretty much been busy being a father. Like I mentioned before, family comes first for me. Family before um, creating videos, pretty much. But yeah. But anyway, yes, it is time to go into Sigma's Fortress. And man, oh man, the first part, they just throw these uh, pink robots at you. They're just so annoying. They're like flies, you know. Once you know, you, they won't leave you alone. You know, they follow you everywhere. You know, they're all up on your face and everything. Uh, yeah, they're like flies. So that's why I recommend pulling out the rolling shield, especially in this part. Whew, this one, this part right here is a little tricky one. Um, but there's actually an easy way to get up into Sigma's Fortress, and you're about to see right now. Uh, so yeah, just pull out the rolling shield and everything. I'm just going to take this part because, as you can see, we can actually climb that wall up into the entrance. Um, I just don't know how to do it, so you guys are in the wrong place for that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, there is a way. Um, I do believe that it, you have to wall jump in a certain spot in order without you know having to jump all these propeller platforms and stuff so yeah i'm not sure how um i've seen playthrough of people who did it though so yeah and now we are inside of sigma's fortress and of course these little turret guys coming at you this is why i recommend using a uh, storm tornado which i'm about to pull out right now um i've just been using flame wave <laughs> oh boy but anyway we are about to reach the um the first uh, boss, there's actually, uh, you actually face off against probably like three bosses in this level. Um, there is actually a total of three parts into Sigma's Fortress. Stay back, X, I'll take them on. Zero, wait, you gotta wait, we just team up, we'll be able to take them out like that. Zero, come back. Zero. Oh boy. Oh my god. Sounds like a tense battle b b in there. You gotta check on Zero and make sure he's alright. Alright, come on. Come on, be okay, Zero. X, do what I tell you or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. And now we are facing off against Vile. Yes. Um, this is pretty much the same thing like in the beginning. There is no way to penetrate that armored carrier. So, I mean... I just love to like see how long I could go uh, before he starts uh, shooting his uh, electric uh, trap orbs. <laughs> like I just love it. I, I I love to see how long I could go. That's what I do. But for those who just want to, you know, hurry it up, just let him hit you a couple times until he lynches out the electric orbs. Maybe, but I'm not through yet. Wait, Zero, what are you doing, Zero? Zero, no! Zero, no! No! Zero! No! What a worthless gesture. I can't be defeated so easily. So, X, it's just you and me now. Yep, it's just you and me, all right. What the? Where did that energy come from? 
It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. What are you, the Terminator now? But this is the real deal, everybody. This is the vile uh, boss battle. And his weakness is Chameleon Sting. Um, I actually recommend um, charging it up all the way so, you know, you have the invisibility frames. That way, you know, all the stuff that uh, Vile throws at you um, won't be affected by you and everything. So I'm going to have to use a sub tank right here real quick. Um, I think we should be good, though. But Vile is a... He's pretty easy. Um, it's just kind of like... I don't know. It's hard to kind of like I don't know. I have a hard time getting away from his uh, his grenades and his, like those little f that floor uh, projectiles, the grenades he throws, pretty much. But anyway, we defeat a vile. We gotta check on Zero though. Hopefully he's okay from that blast. Oh no, Zero. X, I've taken too much <laughs> damage. Auto repair systems can't. <laughs> handle it my power is fading fast your, your power is greater than I thought maybe you can destroy Sigma don't worry zero we'll avenge you yeah zero he died Anyway, um, you guys want to see something cool? You're about to see it right now. You're about to see it right now. Something really cool. It's just kind of... Just, just make sure this person goes away. And... Okay, there we go. Whee! That was cool. <laughs> that was honestly really awesome. <laughs> but, of course, if you've seen my... Uh, the part where I face off against the boomer, the, when I go into the boomerang, boomer anger stage, you guys know my my history with certain levels that require you to require you to climb up stuff. This is this part of that level that annoys me really, really much. Oh my god, I have such a hard time with this part. Uh, that's why I recommend using rolling shield. But be careful with the guys that have the Morningstar chain, uh, because if they hit you while you have the force field, your force field goes away when they hit you with that uh, chain ball. So be very careful. I that's the rolling shield is pretty much just for like smaller enemies, uh, just like these uh, wall turrets and these propeller uh, enemies that are kind of like the pink ones in the beginning of the level uh but less annoying so let's just say that but this whole thing to me is just really annoying because i do have such a hard time and stuff so i really do apologize for those people who are looking for a um a really ad ex advanced uh mega man x playthrough um but this is a guy who hasn't played mega man x, mega man x in a very in in a very long time not very long but it's been a while let's just say that yeah it's been like a person that hasn't played Mega Man X in a while yeah it's been a while since I've last played this game I think the last time I played Mega Man X the first one is when the uh, when I was streaming it uh, on my twitch channel uh, when the legacy collection had came out but anyway here is the second boss and it's Boomer Kawanger? What? But I thought you were dead. Whoa. Oh my god, yeah, he went to the invincibility frames. That's why the Hadouken didn't didn't work on him. But yes, in every single Mega Man game, not only the X games, but also in the classic games, you are put in a boss rush where the boss the robot bosses that you defeated earlier come back to try to have one more go at you and stuff but like some Mega Man games you know they put you in the room and you pretty much face and you go to like a teleporter and you go to a boss room where you face off against a certain uh, a boss that fits their environment and stuff um, well that fits their like boss room stage and the games and stuff 
But in this game, Mega Man game, uh, you face off against the Maverick bosses while you progress through the level and everything. Uh, Boomer Kowanger is the only uh, Maverick boss that we defeated earlier that comes back in this stage. We're going to pretty much face off against every single uh, Maverick boss in Mega Man X1 again. And stuff, but that's the only one we face off in this um, in this part of Sigma Fortress or Sigma Fortress One. Um, again, like I mentioned before, there's a total of three parts into um, Sigma's Fortress: Sigma Fortress One, Sigma Fortress Two, Sigma Fortress Three. But anyway, now it is time to face off against the main boss of Sigma Fortress One, and it is Boss Spider. Oh, yo, oh boy. Boss Spider. <laughs> Probably the most annoying uh, Sigma Fortress boss in the game. Because um, the other two are pretty easy. Just this one is... Oh, he's so... It, it's, he, it's annoying. Um, it's a weakness is shotgun ice, but it won't let you hit it that easily. Because Boss Spider... As you can see right now, the way it goes down, um, I think it's a her because it sprouts out like, because it like, you know, throws its babies at you. So I guess we'll call it a her. But yeah, she um, goes down, uh, as you can see, those lines between those uh, pillars and stuff. Yeah. You just really got to know where she's going to go. Like, you just got to like kind of guess you got to predict it like right now i believe ah yeah you just gotta you just gotta really pay attention to it and stuff but other than that we're just we're almost going to defeat her uh all right okay yeah yep there we go all right cool yeah so that's pretty much what you gotta do just gotta really pay attention follow you know the lines that go between the pillars uh that are between the pillars and know where boss spider is gonna be at like this one okay Oh man, I should have probably went on the right side. All right, we we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you see, I I just have a hard time. Like I overthink stuff. I shouldn't know overthink it. All right, it's okay. We'll pull up the sub tank again. Oh my god! We're right there. There we go. Defeated boss fighter. Yeah, as soon as it opens. The, that red jewel or uh, or that red light on its abdomen there that's your chance to hit her but anyway we defeat a boss fighter and that concludes Sigma Fortress 1 so now it is time to move to Sigma Fortress 2 yes this one Sigma Fortress 2 is pretty easy it's not that hard it's it's pretty easy you'll see right now but anyway, let's go ahead and go into Sigma Fortress 2. In this part of the fortress, we will be having a rematch with two Maverick bosses and going up against the main boss. Uh, this level is easy and it's also short. It's it's really short. Yeah, the first uh, Sigma Fortress, um, the first part of the Sigma Fortress is pretty long. Um, but this part, it's actually really short. Oh no! Uh, be very careful with that part. <laughs> you just really gotta pay attention to the moving platforms and stuff. Um, that's why uh, the bats will come out. That's why I recommend uh, getting using uh, rolling shield. Pretty much like if these type of like parts of the level or anything like that. Um, yeah, who use rolling shield? Like you know, and you're in a platform uh, where you have to jump from platform to platform. Like a small platform like that. And you know, these uh, little small enemies start coming at you. Um, yeah, pretty much use rolling shield. Just a recommendation. So yeah. Then we're about to approach the uh, boss room for the first uh, rematch against the Maverick. One of the Maverick bosses and stuff. And, hmm. Like, I know every single Mega Man game, like, has like a boss, like a room with teleporters to face off against a maverick boss and stuff but i feel like meeting a maverick uh re uh meeting a maverick boss again along the way 
I think that's pretty. I think that's honestly cool. Like, I honestly think that's really cool rather than just, you know, going to a teleporter to teleport and everything like that. I like how, you know, you just meet. You uh, go. You have a rematch with one of them along the way and stuff. But anyway, Chill Penguin is the first uh, Maverick boss we have. We will face off against again. Um, like I mentioned in the first episode, Chill Penguin is one of those uh, boss Maverick bosses that really doesn't need. Doesn't you don't really need his weakness to defeat him. You can just pretty much uh, just you know. Um, just go straight X Buster. That's pretty much it. Uh, but if you guys want to make it more quicker, his weakness is Flame Wave, which ran out. That's why I went straight to the X Buster and stuff. So yeah. But any anyway, we defeated Chill. Oh, excuse me. We defeated Chill Penguin. Now we're gonna go ahead and go up against. We're gonna go our way to the next Maverick boss. We have to face off against again and stuff. And uh, again, be careful with the spikes because with every Mega Man game, if you hit the spikes, you automatically die. So it isn't one of those other platforms where, you know, like, I guess it's like a platform that a platforming game that has a health bar. Um, you get what I mean. I'm sorry. I was just trying to find the right word. Again, speech impediment. I cannot talk today. <laughs> oh, no. It's about to blow up. We got to get out. We got to get out of there. Oh my god, we gotta... Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. Alright, yep, yep, yep. Go, 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 go. Oh no! Oh! Come on, come on. Oh my god, dude. Thank you. Jeez. Alright, gonna go ahead and pull out uh, Rolling Shield right here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, gonna go ahead and climb up. Oh my god, dude. That was so annoying. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. All right, cool. All right, here we go. And of course, if this part looks very familiar to you, then you know what Maverick boss we're about to go up against. We're about to go up against Storm Eagle. Yes. Uh, Storm Eagle's weakness, I don't know if I ever talked about it, uh, is Chameleon Sting. Um, yeah, when the, when the boss weakness is Chameleon Sting, take advantage of the invincibility frame ability um for chameleon steam because it is really helpful especially you could also attack like i think i i don't know if i mentioned it when i face off against storm eagle but you could still attack him even when he's dive bombing and stuff that's why i totally recommend using uh chameleon steam um once you that way you know you could you know finish the boss battle that easily but anyway you already defeated storm eagle but again, Storm Eagle is one of those bosses where you don't need the weakness um, to defeat him. Like, real, like you could just go straight X Buster, X Buster, and have not, no, and don't have any problems and stuff. So, but I recommend using it just to make the match much quick, the battle much quicker. But anyway, time to make our way to the main boss of Sigma Fortress 2, and oh my God, you guys are annoying. I just hate how they're placed, like literally right at the edge <laughs> uh, making it making the the part of the level that much challenging <laughs> that's why not they're like where they're placed at and everything and pretty much the whole stage where you got a wall the wall you got a wall jump and everything not that hard from you know the part that one part in sigma fortress one it's pretty easily and stuff so yeah uh, this area is also good for like when you want to replenish your sub tanks and replenish your sub weapons as well. Um, pretty much grinding or uh, farming for like health orbs and uh, sub weapon orbs. But anyway, time to face off against the main boss of Sigma Fortress 2. This boss name is Ranga Banga. Yes, Ranga Banga's weakness is Chameleon Steam, and it's a very interesting boss because. It's a wall. Yeah, it's a wall. Like, oh my god. Like, when I was like, oh my god, how do they defeat, defeat this boss? Like, oh my god. Like, much like any bosses where you could pre pretty much attack them anywhere, this boss has three um, attack uh, point uh, parts where you could attack it. Um, both the eyes and the nose. I recommend saving the nose for last. Yes, once that, you know... 
the walls close in and everything and you know the notes hit the, the note starts moving and everything don't shoot it Dif shoot out the eyes first because if you shoot out the if you shoot out the nose first you'll literally have to deal with this all that wall jumping just to freaking uh, defeat the boss but anyway we defeated Ranga Banga yeah so again save the nose for last shoot out the eyes first but anyway yeah it's really not that hard of a boss at all it's it's a challenging boss but it's not that hard but anyway now it is time for the final Sigma Fortress. Um, <laughs> this Sigma, this part of the Sigma Fortress is actually more of a boss rush because you'll be pretty much dealing with a lot of the um, you'll do be dealing with a lot of the uh, the, re the last remaining Maverick bosses again, um, and you know from where they are at, it's pretty it's it's really short. So yeah. But I want to show off the hot token ability, which I never got the chance to. So we're going to go ahead and do it to Armored Armadillo. And if you attack it with Electric Spark and remove the armor, now is now he's just plain Dillo. There you go. Yep, you see? One shot with the hot token, and it defeats it so easily. But anyway, we're going to be doing a little uh, speed up right here, guys. So I'll see you guys back. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the music while that whole speed up was going around. But anyway, now it is time to face off against the final Sigma Fortress boss. This boss's name is D-Rex. Yes, D-Rex's weakness is Boomerang Cutter. Yes, and his weak point is the head. Not the body, but the head um, and stuff. And yeah just be very careful because man oh man it likes to smash you to the wall a lot so yeah you can see yeah it you just gotta really really be careful with that and it'll shoot out a big projectile once it unites with uh the bottom part um of its body um and stuff so yeah so just gotta be oh no god <laughs> this close i should have used a sub sub tank i didn't though <laughs> oh my god but yeah did i also did i mention i don't know if i mentioned this but did i mention that there is actually i don't know if you guys you guys heard it uh there is actually three uh for each um sigma fortress levels all each of them have different uh music which I think it's nice. Uh, my favorite one being the first one. Because the first one, uh, once you defeat all of the Maverick bosses. And then that, oh my god, that chilly music of, this is the last stand. I defeat, I played your game, Sigma. Now I'm going to enter your castle. Like, it fits that so perfectly. And stuff. It, it's really nice. And then the second one, which I kind of find odd that they picked that style because it's like a happy like like jolly song and everything like that um <laughs> and i don't think it really fits that in a um in a sigma fortress level um i don't know it's just me as to the third and final sigma fortress song it's more of like a kind of like you're, you're about to sneak in and everything like sneak in like stealth like solid snake type music you know <laughs> but anyway we defeated the rex that is it for all the sigma fortress uh levels now it is time for the finale yes this has been mystery spinoza x saying good night good morning good day 
whatever time you guys are watching this video. I'll see you, Meisters, on the next one. All right, everyone.